I already gave him his warning. Fight like your life depends on it because it does. Well, well, well. Yeah, look, he's the bull, I'm the matador. And it's that simple. Speed and timing beats power. Meanwhile, Saul Canelo Alvarez has said that Tyson has a legitimate rationale for agreeing to face Paul despite nearing 60 years of age. However, Alvarez emphasizes the importance of caution, stressing that boxing is a serious endeavor, not to be taken lightly. He said it's hard to predict it's risky for Mike Tyson, because he's 57, 58 years old. I don't know, and boxing is not a joke, but I understand why they do this. It's a business they're going to box in front of 80,000 people after relentless appeals from the YouTuber Tyson and Jake Paul are set to square off in an eagerly anticipated showdown adding. To the excitement Netflix will make history by airing its inaugural boxing event ensuring fans worldwide can witness the spectacle the YouTuber came out against the legend and said Mike wanted this Mike wanted this to be a professional fight Mike wants a war so I respect him and I respect him for stepping up and taking this fight and trying to take me down however this professional bout comes with a twist in the rules drawing criticism from renowned fighters like Deontay Wilder, Derek Cora, and even Conor McGregor who is now adamant about steering clear of facing Paul in any future matches, McGregor told Sirius M for me it does set a bad precedent in the industry. What you got now is, and I would say this to the young athletes coming up, men and women don't aspire to be one of these YouTube fighters, aspire for world titles, aspire for the Olympics. That is how you etch your name in history, criticizing the upcoming bout. He further added it's hollow, it can be profitable, but it's hollow. I'm noticing a trend in young fighters coming up that are not even interested in competing in the amateur scene or rising up. To win a national title, you need the gold on the waist, you need to etch your name on the belt. On the other hand, Jake Paul recently mentioned that he made the right decision by bulking up to face Mike Tyson. Paul has undergone a remarkable transformation, beefing up his frame to a solid 230 pounds as he gears up to take on the formidable Iron Mike. This dramatic change in physique marks a significant departure from his usual presence in the cruiserweight division. Numerous enthusiasts have pondered whether Paul's transition will work against him yet. The problem child has hinted that it could serve as STRY to thwart Tyson's attempts at intimidation. He said everything has been good. But it's been a little. Transition moving to heavyweight. I definitely needed to put on weight so that I'm able to compete with Mike Tyson and so that he's not able to throw me around in the ring. Paul flaunted a noticeably bulkier physique during the photo sessions following his recent media appearances alongside Tyson. Nevertheless, the problem child is expected to maintain a superior level of endurance and agility compared to his opponent. Considering Tyson will be 58 years old when he enters the ring, Paul added, We've been sporing heavyweights and eating more food. Mike Tyson has called me fat. But I believe fat will turn into muscle and come fight night. I believe I will be able to move and dance around the ring like a true heavyweight since his defeat to Kevin McBride and subsequent retirement in 2005. Tyson hasn't stepped into the competitive ring. Unsurprisingly, he's encountered health issues related to his last sanctioned professional match. The ex-undisputed heavyweight champion retains a trace of his innate dynamism, demonstrating it vividly in fierce training sessions. Paul remains resolute in his determination to rival the legendary figure's prowess, steadfastly refusing to relent or show leniency toward his adversary regardless of the difference in their ages. Talking about if he would take it easy on Tyson, Paul said, absolutely not because if he has the same opportunity, you know he is going to finish. Me in embarrassing fashion. So I have to reciprocate that same energy. But Mike Tyson is a killer. He's ruthless. Joe Joyce in the meantime has offered his prediction regarding the forthcoming fight. He said, yeah, it really gets people talking and it relates to a wider audience. Hardcore boxing fans are going to watch boxing regardless. But because of the entertainment, it brings more eyes to the sport. Joyce astutely observed the schismatic impact. Jake Paul's venture into professional boxing has wrought acknowledging its ability to sharply divide fans and critics while harboring reservations regarding aspects of Paul's public persona. Joyce led the YouTuber's unwavering devotion to the craft and his relentless pursuit of betterment through rigorous training. He underscored the importance of Paul's allure in drawing a broader demographic to boxing, underscoring the entertainment quotient inherent in his bouts, Joyce added, and obviously for people if you're boxing on the undercard, it's good for boxing. I think Jake Paul, I like that he's really dedicated to the sport and he gets the best training and aims to improve in that all the other stuff maybe. Not so much, but I wouldn't be able to watch a whole one of his YouTube videos. But Mike Tyson, he's a legend in stark contrast. Joyce openly lauded Mike Tyson holding him in high regard as a sporting icon delving into Tyson's illustrious journey and impressive abilities. Joyce enthusiastically expressed his hope for the ex-heavyweight champion's triumph over Paul in their upcoming match. He referenced Tyson's training clips as proof of his enduring prowess, pondering whether the legendary boxer still commands the agility and skill that once made him a dominant force in the ring. Joyce added, I want him to win. There's some great footage of him training and stuff. 
obviously he's going to earn decent money, while they're both going to earn decent money from it, comparing it to other headline-grabbing showdowns in combat sports like Anthony Joshua taking on Francis Anonu. Joyce emphasized the deep symbolism of Tyson facing off against Paul. He sees it as a battle between the classic art of boxing and the rising trend of celebrity-driven spectacles, with Tyson embodying the essence of boxing's tradition and honor. He added, I'm excited to see it. I think has Mike Tyson still got it, still got the moves. And obviously it's like the proper boxer against the YouTube boxer. It's kind of similar to AJ and Ananu. It's like AJ's a proper boxer. You want to see for boxing. It's like 1-0 boxing. So is this going to be 2-0 boxing? Will be interesting to see, even in his 57th year. Mike Tyson still wields a commanding presence capable of striking fear. With just a few words during Monday's press conference heralding his upcoming bout against Jake Paul Tyson known for his chilling declarations hinted at his ferocity while he refrained from explicit threats. His ominous demeanor lingered throughout the event. Tyson maintained a subdued demeanor, conceding his personal affinity for Paul, while stressing that sentiment would hold no sway once the fight began despite his fondness for Jake Tyson underscored the gravity of the ring insisting that once the bell rang Paul must fight as if his very existence hung in the balance. Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, you have to fight like his life is dependent on it. Cause it Guests spilled the air from the audience. Yet Paul stood undaunted his gaze steady as he faced his most formidable opponent. Yet on his boxing odyssey, weighing in at over 230 pounds for his debut as a heavyweight contender, Paul praised Tyson's unwavering commitment in arranging this confrontation. Notably, Paul emphasized that it was Tyson who proposed the transition from an exhibition match to a formal professional showdown seeking to cement the result in their respective career records. Jake Paul expressed that Mike was enthusiastic and had always harbored a desire to partake in such Match highlighting the prolonged anticipation, Jake emphasized how they had been challenging each other for years, finally seizing the chance to actualize it on Netflix. Hailed as the paramount platform globally, Jake noted the perpetual growth and enhancement of the endeavor. Jake elaborated that Mike was adamant about the match being conducted in a professional manner, craving the raw intensity akin to a true battle. Jake commended Mike's resolve to step into the ring and recognized the courage it took to face him knowing that numerous fighters had set out with the same intention. He concluded by stating that should Mike emerge victorious in this endeavor, he would undoubtedly be hailed as a hero. Mike wanted this. Mike wanted it to be a pro fight. He wants the war. And so I respect that. I respect them for taking this fight, for stepping up, to try to put an end to me. Because that's what all these fighters have been trying to do is end the YouTuber. And if Mike can do that, then he's a hero. Certainly, Mike Tyson directly confronted the prevalent concerns surrounding his age prior to the Paul bout at his peak. Tyson embodied both fear and ferocity in the boxing world, establishing himself as a dominant champion who left a trail of defeated opponents in his relentless ascent through the heavyweight division. As Tyson gears up for his upcoming match against Paul, it's worth mentioning that his last professional win was in 2003 and he hasn't secured a major title since 1996 stepping into the ring with Paul Tyson will be just three weeks past his 58th birthday. However, Tyson seems unfazed by these statistics. He vehemently countered critics who claimed he was too old for the fight, displaying a fierce determination. Mike stressed that the critics of their match likely envied their position, recognizing that no one else could accomplish what they were about. He affirmed their joint commitment to making a substantial impact. While acknowledging their friendship, Mike clarified that once they entered the ring, personal bonds would be temporarily set aside. 